So early on in the COVID days, Christian Lindbergh traveled to Thailand, where he had to spend a couple of weeks in quarantine before he gave some concerts. While he was there, he actually released a video detailing his first warm-up, and I was always blown away by how simple and how revealing it is. Today we're going to work through Christian's warm-up on seven different mouthpieces, and at the very end, Christian's own signature mouthpiece. So we're basically going to do one mouthpiece for each position, and um, yeah. It's a pretty simple exercise, you'll hear it, but it's really revealing in its simplicity, and I like that about the exercise. We're going to start off with my current main mouthpiece. This is the Long Island Brass 550E. Very deep mouthpiece, like a 2G depth with a 5G style rim, but it feels a lot wider, as is kind of the house style of these mouthpieces. Again, a very, very, almost surprisingly easy exercise, but which turns out that when you really listen to all the details, like absolute evenness of tone, absolute ease of transition between the partials, just when you really listen to as many details as possible, it turns out to be rather tricky. The next mouthpiece we're going to try is again from Long Island Brass. This is the Sasha Romero mouthpiece. It's got a Type 3 backboard for anybody that's interested, and I believe it's... um. The, um, the 5G sized rim, which again feels a little bit bigger in the house style. <laughs> It's fascinating to hear how steadiness changes when you're really, really, really listening into something with nothing else going on, and how much the way that the partials can really subtly change from mouthpiece to mouthpiece. Next we're going to try this lovely Doug Elliott mouthpiece. This is the XT104 Rim XTG Star Cup from his revised lineup, and the G8 Shank. sound. I like that about that mouthpiece a lot. Next we have uh, a Park Friedman design. It's a little hard to read because it's so tiny, but the number on it is 1000-680-1. And from what I understand, it also has a copy of a Bach 4G rim that Jay really likes to play on. Thank you. 
interesting and unique mouthpiece. Also, it has a screw-off rim, which is really nice. I like that about some of these modular mouthpieces that you can kind of, like, test out what you like and don't like. Then we have the Hammond Custom Design Steve Witzer mouthpiece. Uh, they've just actually put up some information about this on their Instagram page. And they started to put them, they have a few in production that are available. So if you like the sound of this and you like Hammond style mouthpieces, it's a really cool one to try out. <laughs> Next, we have the first of our two Alessi designs. This is the new Lasky Alessi uh, 60 Symphonic. I've tried out the 55, the 60, and the 67 in both the orchestra symphonic model and a solo model, and I think that this one out of them is the one that I feel most suited for. So let's give it a try. <laughs> Again, such a fascinating warm-up. It really is super revealing in like the absolute finest details. I really like doing it each day at some point. And um, for seventh position, uh, we have the Griego 1D Alessi line, kind of the biggest of the mouthpieces, the first one that ventures into that kind of 26.7 territory. two of these I maybe skipped one of the four exercises one two three four but still kind of getting what we need out of it I think and finally to finish it off Christian's own mouthpiece this is a 4CL mouthpiece and we're just going to do it in first position and seventh position to get a feel of how the resistance changes with it okay um. on these mouthpieces. I see why Christian plays on a sterling silver bell and why he has the resistance wrap because I do notice that the more I can kind of put mass on the bell, especially here, the more that the sound and characteristic of the mouthpiece kind of changes. Let's do that same thing but I'm gonna kind of dampen the bell here almost as if there's one of Christian's resistance balancers on it but just using kind of my grip. Mm-hmm. 
able to kind of add resistance like that and see what changes about the articulation and my sound concept from behind the bell. And finally, the same thing out in seventh position, just to have a comparison. thing for myself. I'm going to go back to my main mouthpiece and play the same the same exercise in first position one more time. I kind of want to hear when I listen back what the progression from sound to sound is like and what it feels like to come home on a mouthpiece. transitions from note to note on this mouthpiece and I really like the way that I'm I feel like I can be really flexible within it it's also the deepest mouthpiece which probably adds something to that feeling um, so yeah that's the journey through Christian Lindbergh's warm-up on what it sounds like listening to some fine-tuned details in all seven of the positions thanks so much for listening I'll include a list of the mouthpiece and kind of a chapter timing for each one and uh, yeah like subscribe I've never said that before in a video. I don't know if I like it, but let's go with it. Like and subscribe. All right, thanks, bye.